Before the video starts, I just want to provide a quick disclaimer saying that the audio for the first for the first section of the video did not capture and is silent. So I tried my best to recreate the audio with my own voice, but it did not go as well as you would expect. It gets the point of the video across, but it may be a bit stagnant and it may sound a bit weird. I hope that doesn't provide too much of a problem, so just bear with me if you can. Also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing this Shadow of the Hedgehog skin, it's become the Halloween season, and while I wasn't this wearing this skin in the current video, I will be wearing it in the next one. All right, I'll let actual video Aiden get to his spiel and get right into the topic. All right, here we go. Greetings, my friends. My name is Aiden, and welcome back to the realm of Arcanus. In the last video, we didn't do much. We just, well, we got this nice sparkly diamond armor, if you can't tell. And it took a bit of time, it took a bit of AFKing as well as mining, if you can't tell. And it pretty much just went about, yeah, it did, it, it, it just went, I just went, I don't know what else to say. And it was a process, most definitely a process, but I'm glad we finally have it, because I think it looks nice and sparkly and nice and shiny. Nice and radiant, to be sure. But today's video is mainly going to be focused on building. Because as you can tell, we have our crop farm and our animal farm, but we don't have much else. We don't have many materials either. So what I'm hoping to do in this video is get a few builds done and get the materials necessary to build said builds. So the four builds that I want to make in this video today and hopefully get completed is first of all, I want to build a house. I also want to update our mine to make it look nicer. I then want to build an enchantment station uh, to make just a nicer place to enchant our items. I also then want to build a nicer animal farm like I've said in previous videos, as well as a windmill above our, above our XP farm. And to do that, I'm going to need some scaffolding. So I'm going to go to a jungle, or at least go find a jungle, uh, hopefully to the west if it is in that direction and hopefully we can find something and I'll be right be right with you guys. So uh, let's go. It was at this point that I had realized that my audio for some reason had cut out. So every bit of recording before the first time lapsing has been cut, unfortunately. However, I will be doing a commentary of the remaining footage that you've seen here that I have edited significantly. And as you can see right here, I'm strolling through a birch forest, and then I stumbled upon this swamp and jungle and dark oak forest with a bunch of different wood types that I would utilize in the future. I then found these blue orchids that I collected because blue orchids are indeed the best flower in the game. There's no argument there. They are very pretty, and I very much love them. I then encountered a mangrove tree, which I collected a few mangrove propagules because I might want to use mangrove in the future for another build. Maybe not one in Ramonia, Maybe not one in the main base, but one that could definitely serve us in the future. Because mangrove is one of the best wood types. I then went over to the jungle, as you can see, and got some bamboo and cocoa beans. Collected some melons while I was there, too. Because, hey, melons are nice, and melons are awesome. Melons are one of the best fruits. Not as good as bananas, but still pretty good. So I collected some of these, and then I moved on, collecting more bamboo as I went along. As you can see, which I then stumbled across this village on this cliffside and I really like the texture of this place so I decided to mark it. I then killed this enderman in this cavern as you can see and as I killed him he dropped an ender pearl. I then found these lilies of the valley which I collected as well because I really really like vegetation in this game and the flowers are always a nice touch to add to builds as you'll see when I'm doing the time lapse. I then encountered this ruined portal which was this I didn't find much a few gold as well as this few blocks of crying obsidian, but hey, what are you going to do? Gathering more bamboo as I continued on my little journey across the across the plains. Went about as well, pretty well actually, until I encountered this ominous looking mountain. Very strange, very abnormal. Didn't mark it, but would like to come back here and take a look at it at some point in the near future. I then decided to continue on more and found another savanna village, which I decided to bunker down at for the night. Considering that the dark is very dangerous and there would be a lot of monsters. So I decided to sleep in a villager's bed, sorry about that villager, and continued on from there. Venturing out into the village a bit more after collecting a few of their own resources, permanently borrowing them, I encountered something that I had just noticed with my keen eyes. 
wandering around the village a bit more, seeing what else I could acquire, like those acacia saplings. It was then that I had spotted this pillager outpost in the distance, which I looted, finding two sentry templates as well as a goat horn. When recording, I realized the goat horn for some reason didn't do any audio, and while it looks like I'm blowing it, which I am, I did not have any audio. I decided to try and venture back to base at this point, encountering yet another savannah village on the horizon of this, well, savannah. I didn't find much here. I did find a compass, which I would use to get home, but nothing else. I then countered another pillager outpost not far off the horizon, which I killed a captain, got a bad omen bottle, and then looted, which it didn't have much, an iron ingot that I took as well as that enchantment bottle. I ate some food, and then I moved on. Collecting a few jungle wood, a few pieces of jungle wood on the way, as well as a few jungle saplings. I also decided to grab some birch wood for any builds that I had planned in the near future, such as you'll see in this video ahead of me, killing monsters in my way as I was collecting the wood. Uh, the crime of deforestation continues. I started heading home, swimming across the lake without a boat as I did the first time. Wasn't as efficient, but it worked. Making my way slowly back home, as you can tell. It took a bit of time to get back there because I was a few thousand blocks out, but I eventually managed to, managed to find my way home. As I got home, I decided to sleep in my bed. That way I didn't have to deal with the monsters at night. And this is when I showed off the design I had conceived for my house, which is not the design I initially used. I thought it looked nice when I was designing it, but looking at it back at it now, it didn't really fit the vibe I was going for. I still used the same block palette that I used for the current build that you'll see in this video, but unfortunately this design will never make it into one of my videos. Maybe in the future, but who knows? I doubt it because I never use builds. I then decided to collect a bit more wood before building the house, as you'll see here, chopping down a few trees to clear out the area, claiming both oak and birch wood, because those are the two blocks I will be primarily using in this build, as you'll see up ahead. Collecting both apples and saplings, as well as a few sticks along the way, just in case you never know what I might need. I then decided to start terraforming this area to try and flatten it out, which I did, in order to get the amount of space required to make the actual building that I was wanting to make. Also, I'm just, I'm talking at this all in one recording, so don't expect this to be perfection, because I am not great with words when I am on the spot. I think you'll see it in how much I flub this up. I'll definitely would have sounded better had my audio captured, and hopefully it will on the next video. This pro shouldn't be a problem in the next one, hopefully, but you never know. And there I am looking at myself in disappointment. Ah, uh, how upsetting I was. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into the situation, but we'll discuss that later. As before I started gathering blocks, I decided to go down to my enchantment station, level up a bit, and get Silk Touch maxed out on both my axe, as well as my shovel. Yes! Eee! I then decided to go back to this birch forest I discovered earlier and collect a bunch of birch saplings. Well, not birch saplings, but birch wood for the walls of the house. And then on the middle island, I decided to clear out a bunch of these trees, get it, gathering wood as I went along. As you can see here. Not only leading to a bigger and a bigger planes that I could use to build, but also whatever else I could acquire for materials. I then decided to gather sand as well for concrete, which I then needed to grab some gravel for, which I went underground into both the cavern 
that I found. Which gravel is pretty scarce on the surface, but underground, it's pretty good to find. Heck, I even found some diamonds while I was down here, if you can believe it. Listen, these were legitimately, okay? I definitely didn't cheat them in. I then decided to shear my sheep for a bunch of light blue wool that I would want to use for the roof, and then collected a bunch of light blue concrete that I would use for a build. And all right, here we go with the building. All right, that would take a bit of time, but yes, now our house is actually fully constructed, and I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, definitely took a bit of time. I actually didn't design any of this. Uh, the pre-design I had come up with that I showed earlier was not the initial design that I chose to use. I actually chose to just go based off what I could think of, and so yes, we have this nice upper second floor that we haven't put anything in here yet, uh, mixed with this bottom floor that is also quite empty. So I guess the next step to do would be to move all of our items currently residing right here into our nice new enclosure. So uh, let's get to doing that. Make a few more chests so that we actually have the, the ability to store our stuff. Put all the chests over here temporarily. We have so much random stuff we have to we have to work our way through. Let's actually move all our furnaces right now. So I guess this is going to be our smelting area. I'll make it look nicer later. Interior decorating is not my strong suit, but we'll definitely work on it right now. We'll grab all this. And all of this as well. I have so much random crap that I've just been throwing away, not using. Let's break that and grab all the stuff from it. I'll save this campfire for later. Yeah, why do I have this? Get out of here. I have just this, like, like I said, so much stuff that I just have not organized, and I have yet to organize. What I am happy about, however, is I at least finally have a shelter that I can, that I can stay in. Now that's all done, I want to get to the next phase of the building process, which is 
constructing a mine because as you know we don't have much of a mine we have this entryway and that's about it but i would like to build something much nicer than that so i suppose we can just i don't really need to do a time lapse for this one we can just get to a small building process but i do need to gather some stone so i guess we will get to that say having an efficiency five pickaxe definitely helps so it'd be a lot slower if i didn't i'm definitely gonna need like a lot of stone for the four builds that i still have left to do any resources we get along the way is just a benefit <clears throat> if you're a smart minecraft player you'll invest in an efficiency five diamond pickaxe like i did it may take time, but in the end, it is a good result. <clears throat> I think we may have gone a bit overboard, but I think that might be enough. So let's continue our downwards, downward descent. Once we hit deep slate, we should be good. So it might take us a bit to get there. It never hurts to grab some more iron. I believe we have hit the deep slate level. Thank you. Yes, we have. Once we hit the full deep play level, we'll stop. Oh! Well, would you look at that? What do we have here? Well, hello there, gorgeous. <coughs> That is certainly a lot of amethyst. <coughs> Alright, I can definitely use you for something. Oh, and we've dug into a cave. And some lapis to boot. With some copper on the side. I know, I really shouldn't be exploring when I should be focused on building, but hey... There's always going to be a thrill, right? Who knows what we might uncover. Ooh, gold. Put all this stuff here in storage. For now, until we can come back and grab it. Alright, now... Back to the task at hand, building an entryway. So let's start with just digging out the area a bit. All right, that looks flat enough. I suppose we should probably build a perimeter, but I'm gonna need, to need some wood first. All right, we should be set. Wee! All right. Let's construct something nice and quick and sturdy. Due to how short this time lapse actually is, I decided not to use music for the mine time lapse. I thought it would just be a waste and I didn't really see the point in doing it. So it was just short and that's about it. That's all you need to know. Continue on with the video. I think that looks pretty nice overall. <clears throat> And yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, I feel like this bit might be a bit out there, but uh, we can always do a bit of landscaping, a bit of terraforming and fix that. Or just remove this entirely. Depends. But yes, I actually had to go down here off camera and smelt uh, some stone, as you'll see right here. Kind of needed it for the build, you know? Just kind of needed it. But yes, the next build I want to work on is going to be up here, uh, above the mining area. Most likely right here, if I was to guess. I do have to flatten this area out a bit now. Which, yeah, we'll actually do it. Alright, that should be good. Um, I'll actually flatten out a bit here as well. Timber! Alright, that looks good. 
So I'm probably going to do a small little compilation of gathering a few resources and we'll get into the building process. So let's go. Before I started the enchantment tower, I decided I also needed more wood because this tower was going to require some. I went back to the birch forest and I went across the river, gathering both oak and birch trees as I severed the trees from their bodies. Took a bit of time, as you can tell, but luckily with the power of, mo of video editing, it was cut very short. This was actually took 19 minutes, believe it or not, but you'll only see it in the span of a few seconds. I then decided to go back underground to my mine and gather up a lot of stone where I discovered coal and iron, if you can believe it or not. And this stone I would use for the base of the tower, as you'll see in the initial design, I will show off in the time lapse in a few seconds. I want to also... I also wanted to just dig out this mine because I need more space for it and just to see what else we could uncover while we were down here. Because who knows, maybe we'll run into some slimes. All right, overall, I think this looks pretty good. I think this took a bit of time to build, yes, but I think it looks nice. There are a few things I might change about it, such as the block texturing. But overall, I really, really like it. The roof was a bit disfigured at the beginning, but I managed to fix that with the help from some suggestions of a friend who I won't name, but uh, I'll just give them credit for helping me with it. Uh, but yes, I think this looks really good, and I really just want to get continuing to the to the building process that is the focus of this video. And so I want to go over, and I guess I'll show you guys where I will build uh, the last two builds of the video, which will be time-lapsed most likely together. And after I'm done with that, I will build paths connecting all the builds together, which will also be time-lapsed, because this video is really just going to be a big set of time-lapsing and building if you can believe it or not. Yeah, this is taking a bit of time to make. So these torches are marking the XP farm, which I'm actually going to build a sort of a windmill build around it. Uh, marking where it is so we can clearly see it. I thought about making a wind build, a windmill build that was separate. However, I thought it would be better if I just chose to make this into a windmill instead to mark it. It's a good spot for an animal farm. A little elevated, yes, but I think it'll still be a good terrain to use. Pretty spacious, all we need to do is a bit of flattening, a bit of terraforming, as we have been doing for a bit. But yes, I'm not going to waste any more time with words, and I'm actually going to get right into the building, so let's go! Hi, so I may or may not have accidentally lost the footage for flattening out the terrain of where I was going to build the animal farm, and that's a big oops on my part, so uh, really sorry about that. Um, but hopefully you can ignore that little scuff, and we can just get on to building a nice animal farm, okay? Okay, here we go.
so yeah, that is our windmill and animal farm fully constructed. And to be honest with the windmill, I'm not fully feeling the design. I might go back and redesign it. As you saw, I had a few mishaps with the windmill. Heck, I even forgot to add windows looking at it now. And it has not been fun to design. I thought it would be, but I think it's also just because of the fact that I'm tired. I spent way too long on this video alone. Also the paths, I've decided to just skip those and save those for another time because those are gonna take way too long as well. I really just wanna get this video out as soon as possible because between being sick, poor time management, and just uh, a poor creative inspiration to try and do with these builds, just mainly trying to build these from scratch with no plan or idea, has not been fun or credible. And hopefully I can rectify that problem. But to be fair, I am just starting out, so don't expect anything very professional or highly coordinated at the moment, like I've said before in the past. But until then, I will definitely see you all later in the near future in my next video, which should hopefully not take as long. So feel free to like, feel free to comment, feel free to subscribe. And until then, I'll see you all later. So as I say, each and every day, lightning out.